Hey guys, welcome to the Saturday Doobie feature. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the Chris Columbus epic, Adventures in Babysitting. Hey guys, welcome back to the Saturday Doobie feature. I'm your host, Justin. And I'm Corey. And you know what we're doing here. We're talking about our favorite movies and our favorite strains. And today we're talking about Adventures in Babysitting. That's right. June 1987. 1987. Where were you? I was not born yet. I was negative one. I was That's negative one I as was. well. Here, how, how are we going to start? Get, get Vanilla B over here. In, uh, yes, as a toast this. to our negative one yeah, birthdays. Here's, yeah, I don't want to freak go. anyone out, but so June, we have... June 1987, I was born February 1988, so pretty sure my parents boned after they saw this movie, and that's how I was conceived. Just saying. Hate this fact. Pretty much. Let's smoke. Pretty much like a 100% <laughs> fact. Elizabeth <laughs> Shue, directed by Christopher <sighs> Columbus. It is here. If you want to hit that, I'll give a little primer about mind? the movie. Yeah, great. Please. Take it away. Uh, Elizabeth Shue plays a babysitter who has adventures. No, she, uh, her friend basically goes to escape to San Junipero. She's got the same, she's got the glasses, she's got the hair, uh, but she gets lost in the big city, calls up her buddy, Elizabeth Shue, hey, come help me out. But Elizabeth Shue has to babysit that night because she's been stood up by her, uh, presumably shitty boyfriend. So, the, that's, did I miss anything otherwise? No. She's got to work. That's the premise. She's got to hustle, make her 12 bucks or whatever. Guys. So, this movie was Chris Columbus pre Home Alone. Yeah, what did he do? Did he, do you know what he did before this movie, or, or is it? He wrote. He did a lot of writing before uh, before he started directing. So he did like. Um, it's weird to think somebody uh, wrote this movie because there's a lot of random Nemo stuff Adventures in, this movie. in Slumberland, guys. Ro the animated little the Nemo. The animated little Shut Nemo up. is a Chris Columbus. Film. I've only played it on Nintendo, and I believe it's the year before. It was like 1986, something like that. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of crazy, but they. Uh, he went on to do Adventures in Babysitting, which is a PG-13 Chris Columbus movie, and they dropped the F-bomb, guys. No joke. They he's dropped a, the F-bomb. You, like, great... you feel like you're watching like Home Alone with the F-bomb. It's it's weird. <clears throat> There's a lot of God, this is nice. unsavory right characters in this movie. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio plays a really aggressive truck driver. Who's For those a, of you who he's don't helpful, know. but he's got his own problems going Vincent on. Vincent D'Onofrio was the alien in Men in Black. Yep, he's in yeah. this movie. He uh, ate sugar. Sure. Keith Coogan, guys, who loved babysitting movies, like a couple years later, he did uh, he did Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Another classic, which like, which I used to mix up a lot with this movie. But why do you love babysitting movies so much? Like, I think it was just I think to... babysitting was kind of like a '90s trope. To I'm gonna take a dab while we're talking. Yeah, about yeah, we yeah, have uh, also our strains. We didn't talk about our strains. No, we didn't. As it's easy to get sidetracked on this show, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna be dabbing right over here. Here we this go. Is from you do that. Strain uh, Balboa. We have some Diamond OG. Cool. Uh, Strain Balboa and uh, Balboa Caregivers. Or Strain is the name of the shop. If you're familiar with Los Angeles, go check them out. If you're a medical marijuana patient, uh, what do you got over there, Corey? Uh, over here, I have Green Valley Collectives. Uh, what are we doing? 747. It's called 747. It's a hybrid. What do we have? Oh. Love that. Love 747. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really yeah, nice daytime indica. One. Nice and fruity. It's not yeah. too OG, you know? Yeah. So, uh, a little bit about it. It's, uh, Would you like a dab? I would actually love a dab. That would be amazing. I'll work that out for a you. Dab will do you. I know someone. I know a guy. Now, uh, a little review here. Smoked it. Got high. <laughs> ate two boxes of mac and cheese before uh, ordering a pizza. Wow. Uh, you know, you could kill a lot of time by putting the go. mac and cheese on the pizza. Great. So I don't know why you couldn't do that. Uh, here's just a little, little dabber for you. So, uh, oh. Beautiful. What were you going to is... say? I'm sorry. No, 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 nothing. I'll, I'll let you talk. Oh, well, we we'll also have Tahoe OG over here, like we said, from Strain Balboa. Uh, quick on the review on that. Looking for Zs? Look no further than Tahoe OG. So, you know I like my my dad jokes and my vernacular. So, Adventures in Babysitting, they get in a couple compromising positions. It's, it's weird also watching it, too, because uh, Christopher Columbus has a great way about him with kids, you know, as... as Proven by Home Alone and all that. Absolutely, kids in this movie He's are made great. a career out of it. The young girl has a fascination with Thor that <laughs> I, I'm surprised is not capitalized on more nowadays. Like you Ooh. know, like for a movie that has one of the Avengers in it, you would think that they would like bring it up often. And then like a couple of minutes later, there was like rampant homophobia. Like, just tossed well, it, about. We were, it is such so, a product of its time. I it, mean, is, it really it is. is. It's the same thing that you watch Bill and Ted and they're calling each other fags and yeah. stuff. It's just like, yeah, that there's, was a, the there's 90, a rape joke at one point. There's jokes about 17 year old prostitutes what, what in this other, movie. We, I thought we packed. Oh, here's the bong. Here we go. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. that. No, no, no worries. This is it? the Tahoe OG. That was the 747. It's easy there. to lose track of so. things. We have a lot of, lot going on on our table, as you see. Would you like to also talk uh, about If you guys ever have any have? questions about anything here, let us know. Uh, if you have any suggestions for us, please suggestions, let us know. Please, yes. Uh, is there anything on the table you wanted to highlight specifically? Uh, specifically, your, your, your I mean, this piece we call Vanellope. Absolutely beautiful. It's a water bubbler. Uh, very, very 
very smooth. Uh, has kind of a nice formed mouthpiece here. Sounds very so, sounds uh, like a very personal piece to you. I love this piece. Uh, I actually name all of my pieces because uh, it's like you name you uh, named a sword back in the old days. You know, what's and that one's name? Gave it power. Yeah. What's that one's name? Uh, the clear that one. is Ghost. Oh, that's Ghost. This is Ghost. Could be, mo could be Thor for those Mojo, uh, Game of Thrones there. fans. Oh, you'll get the reference. The red eye. Had no idea. No. Here you go. Here, smoke. What's this one? Smoke this one. Uh. <coughs> 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 So it's 1987. It. <laughs> no, there's no losing it. It's 1987. Elizabeth Shue's like going to uh, save her friend, and basically the crux of all uh, adventures and babies and having is over forty dollars. Like yeah, literally, yeah, yeah. their tire blows up. It costs forty dollars, and their whole wacky adventure is because they were trying to avoid forty dollars. But I understand because that infl inflation to today, that's about uh, four hundred dollars, right? Yeah. <laughs> that, probably. I don't know. I just no. know <laughs> our parents, right? Because it's like. Things in the eighties yes, were okay. cheaper. So, I know that. No, absolutely. But like that one's cheaper. Like my pyre, my, my pyre. Well, it had to be cheaper because like, look, they they infiltrate my a blues pyre club. Just they they she fights a gang and they throw a knife at the kid's feet. Yeah. Yeah, that would freak me the fuck out if I was high. That dude. was that was intense. Right? That if if somebody stabbed my feet and like I had to run around after that, that was intense. He played it up very yeah, cool. That. Oh, you were gonna pass on that. Well, what what is here. it? Is it the? It's the. Uh... What does it matter at this point? It doesn't. Really, I mean, listen, it's all blended <laughs> together. No, this is the Tahoe OG Strain Balboa. Go check them out. Uh, actually, the reason I was highlighting some of our other products earlier is because, like for example, we have our Alpine Vapor cartridge here. Alpine oh, Vapor yeah. Live Resin that Extraction. You know, hold on. This is the Gorilla Glue strain. Yeah, it's going to be an indica dominant uh, hybrid. It's beautiful too. It's like very, very. Uh, it's a clean pen. You know, clean. Silver clean. Uh, so, other. What was your favorite? What was your favorite adventure in uh, Adventures in Babysitting that oh, they got God. into? Well, my, besides my, when my, they all sing the whitest blues ever, because that's mine. It is. It is fantastic. It's like, uh, my you, least favorite part is when they're walking on the outside of a tall building. That kind of sucks. Yeah, that and they and it's funny because that's like the crux of the entire advertising campaign. It's like on the poster. They like no spoilers or anything, but like this is the big action that's scene. That's right. That's right. Giving well, it that's away. Like kind of the climax. Cl the like film? walking. Yeah, because they're, they're, that's when they're trying to avoid their parents at the end. Spoilers, spoilers, guys, spoilers. guys. Listen, you can find it's, it on Netflix. This also, isn't spoilers. For it came you. out in 1987. Yeah, if you so haven't if seen spoilers, it by now, really, you should think about that. Uh, other look notes, at your life, look at your choices. I just glanced at my notes really fast. Other notes I have down here. If I was remaking this movie, I could very easily do it with the cast of Harry Potter. I feel like Elizabeth Shue is Emma Watson for today. She's. I mean, let's that, be like, honest. There are so many pictures uh, of uh, Ron Rupert, Weasley. Rupert yeah. Grint just like getting high. And that's so and, and he would up, he would guys. be the brother. Bradley Whitford is also in this movie, being a dick. He's yeah. second only to his dick role in uh, Billy Madison, I would say. Okay. In this movie, yeah, 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 where he was the weasel. Yes. <laughs> Remember the weasel laugh? All right, listen, folks. Adventures in babysitting, it was pretty Guys, exciting. Guys, if you want to see that again, let us know. <laughs> we can have... Oh, he just did it again. You remember? Carl? Just ruined that. Yeah, thanks, Carl. It's very yeah. good. It's very good. Um, <laughs> also, The Mick. If you want to remake this movie, just watch The Mick. It's pretty much the same thing, uh, except a little bit more R-rated. It's a funny show. You should watch it. I'm, just, I'm putting my, my vote out there for that. <laughs> Anything else you want to say about... You lost me, man. Adventures so, in babysitting? Adventures in babysitting. No, it's... Uh, I don't know, guys. It's <laughs> excuse me. It's fun. It moves quickly. It's a fast-paced movie. It's a rogue um, comedy. I mean, like, but I mean, yeah, I don't know. It's, another, it's strange. The, it's strange. Like, you want to watch a strange? Again, it's a little movie. weird though. Like, it has more energy in the beginning because you really feel like they're going to go on these multiple adventures, and then they kind of like have the same adventure over and over again. Like the tire breaks they again, do. and then it's like fifty dollars, and that's that's got to be like twelve hundred bucks today, yeah. right? Yeah. The. Uh, yeah. There's like they meet that guy again. They meet Vincent D'Onofrio again. Where does he get these numbers, dude? I lived. I was negative one when this movie came out. Me too. And man. I understand inflation. Okay. I'm 28 now. Damn, this movie is 29 Math, years guys. old. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know if I watch it again. I don't. Th I've seen it several times. Was that your first time watching it? No, well, I mean, first time watching it stoned. I'll tell you that much. Actually, you know, I think mine too. Yeah, but. Speaking of, like, what do you think was so special about it? Like, what was so special? Kind of in the just time? To, to put a final note on it. What would you say was so special uh, about watching it? I think it, it took the high tropes for the first time. Well, I think it took the tropes of the road movie and it added the the magic that uh, Christopher Columbus can elicit from these kids' performances, which can't always be captured. You know, they try to still do that in these, uh, you know, vacation movies and stuff today, and it's hard to do, I think. And yeah. uh, and that's why he's he went on to have such great success in the Home Alone movies. And uh, it is a little weird to think that a lot of his movies are just about kids being alone. I don't know if that's like a personal thing. 
Oh, that's that dark, he has, man. or like if that comes from like I don't what know. The fuck. That was what? such a dark. I mean, turn, dude. What does he do dude, otherwise? He does Home Alone. Like, that was like the Christopher most recent Columbus episode does, of uh, The Good Place. That was Christopher like a dark Columbus turn. Columbus does bro. Home Alone, and then he does what else? He has the 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 worst, arguably Harry Potter's. So I'm just saying. Fair enough. I actually am he, a fan he built of a those. Great, he, 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 it was a great interpretation. Listen, from everyone at Hollywood Redux. It's a conversation for another time. Yeah, we're not talking about Harry Potter because it's not on Netflix. Netflix, no, no. put Harry Potter on Columbus, and we'll talk about you know, it. If you want to watch connected. last week's episode, we talked about Son-in-Law. That was a great one. You could see Corey when he was sober. Not anymore, folks. Yep. This is just a, it's a progression. It's the real thing. Downhill. You're watching it, it as it be happens. An avalanche Bring by the end of it. Uh, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank all of our sponsors. I want to thank Hollywood Redux. Most yes. importantly, check out our other podcasts. Add on Twitter, Instagram. Check it all out. You can find me on Twitter, Justin underscore Gentile. Cool. Corey Kynes, 88. Are you on Instagram? I'm Corey You're on Instagram, right? Uh, I am on Instagram. as Instagram's Loco Coco 88. Loco Coco Loco Coco. Oh, man. No, so, Just uh, Gentile. Yeah, also man. on. Wow. Try to make it easy for you. So from everyone uh, at the Doobie Feature, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. See you later. Bye. Hey, guys. You like that video? Awesome. Check out some more. If you click on this button right over here, you can follow us on all social media. This guy right over here, you can click for more videos. I know you want to watch him. Right over here, you can, uh, you know, visit our store, buy some awesome stuff. Uh, it's all made by people here at Hollywood Redux. And if you guys click right over here, you guys can, uh, you know, subscribe. You should do it. Check it out.